Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where a buyer tries to get the but my mom has cancer discount. And before we get into today's video, I just want to remind everyone that I have a podcast where I publish my YouTube videos in podcast form. So if you want to check it out and give my podcast a five star rating, you can find the link down in the description. Blink has an opening in her group and I might just join hers because she has a really good idea. We're halfway through the group project. You've done nothing and you're thinking of switching groups? Wow. I want a good grade, so... And then, about a day later, Choosing Beggar sends this. WTF? What the F? Did you unshare the document and delete my name? Yes, and because you, one, never did your project. Two, didn't present. The F? I wanted to see which group I get a better grade in. F you. On this next post, a choosing beggar wants a free plane ticket and gets offered a bus ride ticket instead. That's the Greyhound. You're out of your mind. No, I'm flying. Not taking a Greyhound into Tampa with weird people. That's for poor people. And flying is faster. Newsflash, dude. If you're begging for plane tickets, then that probably makes you a poor person. Hey, this is Kiera. I'm friends with Brad. He told me you have a cheap car for sale. Good evening. Yes, I'm selling my 2006 Honda Civic. It's my third vehicle and I don't have much use for it anymore. Did he mention price? No, he just said it was cheap. How much? I'm asking for 3,000 bucks. It only has 100,000 miles on it and it's pretty clean. Only has a scuff on the rear bumper from someone tapping it while they were trying to parallel park. And of course, some miscellaneous door dings, scratches, etc. Brand new tires and brake pads too. LOL. I'm sorry? LOL. It means laugh out loud. I think it's funny you went $3,000. I could buy a BMW for that. Right. Well, I can tell you with 100% certainty that the $3,000 BMW will not be nearly as reliable or cost effective as my Civic. But fair enough. Good luck with your search for a car. What color is it? Huh? What color is the car? It's white. Lol, nah, I hate white. So just don't buy my car then? Lol, I won't. Good luck selling your piece of garbage Honda, buddy. Tell Brad to call me when he has a minute and go F yourself. I can't understand why this woman is so aggressive when she doesn't want to buy it. It'd be like going into a fast food place and they're like, all right, ma'am, would you like fries with that? Fries? Raffle? Yeah, right. By the way, raffle means rolling on the floor laughing because that's such a stupid suggestion. Good luck selling your ugly fries. No one's going to want to buy them. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. So for context on this next post, it looks like OP had some sort of Christmas gift exchange with his co-workers and the spending limit for each gift was $50. Hey, thanks for the chocolates and the blanket. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I actually have one of those blankets. They're super comfortable. I love it. So, I know this is kind of awkward, but the spending limit was $50. And I looked online, and it seems that the blanket and chocolates only add up to about $30. Do you think it's possible you could get me something else? My kids have been spending me up the wazoo, lol. Yeah, no problem. I could just give you 20 bucks if you'd like. That way, you could get yourself and your kids something nice for the holidays. You think it's possible you could get me this? My kids would love it, thanks. A $120 tablet? I think that's a bit over the $50 spending limit, haha. <laughs> I know, it's just that my kids have been spending me up the wazoo. And it would make their day if mommy gave them something nice like this. Thanks, I appreciate it. And I don't mean to be abrasive or anything, but you're an engineer, so you make quite a bit more than I do, lol. I'd also just take $120 cash if that makes it easier on you. The spending limit was 50 bucks, so I'd be more than happy to give you 20 bucks or something worth 20 bucks. I understand you have kids, but I also have things I need to pay for. And unfortunately, 120 bucks for a coworker is a bit out of my budget. You're kidding me, right? You don't even have kids. What else would you spend your money on? Now you're going to ignore me? Real nice of you during the holidays. Honestly, don't know how you live with yourself. Disgusting. Fine, I'll take $20 cash, please. Lol, forget it. Thanks for the karma. 
What? I really like the comment from No Meaning to This. Engineer and no kids, just deposit all your paychecks directly into my account. Thanks. Merry Christmas. I need an effing ride. Does no one in this world help anymore? I mean, dang, where's the Southern hospitality anymore? Oh yeah, that's right, there is none anymore. I forgot. I was raised old school and it's hard to find good help anymore. Not to mention I'm offering good gas money and still can't get no help. You know the world's coming to an effed up end. You can't even pay somebody to give a ride or for anything fat. What's this world coming to for real, for real? And then the reply down below says, it's a pandemic lockdown right now and you're complaining like this on Facebook about someone not giving you a ride? This next one is posted on a Tinder profile. Fat girls and black girls to the back of the line. If your belly jiggles when you walk, you're disgusting and nobody wants a fat, lazy, overweight, out of shape, Hershey-fed sweat hog next to them in the bed. If your mouth is gross, bye. If you don't have a job or you're a child and play video games all the time, see ya. If you have kids, that's a no-go. If you're a giant and or built like a man, get effed. Real women only, 510 Gemini. Down in the comments, La Ra 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 says it best. Fat girls and black girls to the back of the line as if there's a line to begin with, shaking my head. Selling Microsoft Surface Pro for 600 bucks. Is it still available? Yes, it's still available. Will you take 150? I'm sorry, I can't go that low. This Surface was already 1700 when I bought it. 150 bucks would be a steal. Go find another seller that's gonna fall for your scams. Come on, bro. My friend is selling his to me for 150. So why don't you go buy his? Because his is older and only has four gigabytes of RAM. You're not gonna get mine for 150 bucks. Sorry, bud. Bro, my mom has cancer. This is a gift for her. Be nice, bro. Hello? Yeah, sorry. Please stop wasting my time. F you, jerk. My mom is gonna die because of you. LMAO. I love this contribution from Riggs Boson down in the comments. Son, did you get me the fifth generation Microsoft Surface Pro? Forgive me, mother. I failed you. Goodbye, son. <sighs> On this next post, OP is giving away a TV and TV stand for free and this choosing beggar asks him to deliver it to her. And OP responds, not for free. So I'm not entitled to a free TV because I don't drive, shaking my head. And I gotta be charged delivery for something that's free, shaking my head. Ever since Trump got in the White House, you people been confused. I'm not driving an hour one way to give you something for free. It ain't my fault you can't effing drive, you effing loser. I'll throw it out before I deliver it for free. Why on earth is this woman blaming Trump because she's lazy? Then down in the comments, we have this story from Hogan Forged. Finally, one of these with an appropriate response. I'd rather throw it out too. I had this happen sort of with a garage sale. A box of old books for five bucks. A guy offered me one dollar. He was such a prick about it, I just said forget it and didn't counter offer. He says to me, Don't worry, I'll come back at the end. These will still be here. They were by then, but I hated the butthole so much, I threw them in my car and donated them the following day. Man, it felt good to tell the guy he wasted even more of his time coming back. When I get big for streaming or YouTube, I personally want to help artists with commissions, give them big tips, and tell them to keep going. Their art is amazing. Helping other people makes me feel good. Then, if you click on this person's Twitter profile and look at a conversation they had with an actual artist, you'll see this choosing beggar is full of it. An artist said, The May comic market has been cancelled. I've lost some of my important sources of income. However, if you buy a copy of my manga, it'll support me. So please read the English translation of this manga. Please. Will it ever be online for free? Or will I have to go back to pirating it? Free does not mean support for me. Piracy it is. Well, kiddo, if you're planning on becoming a professional YouTuber, let me give you this piece of advice. If you get famous, comments like this will come back to haunt you. 
So it's better to act like a decent human being now and not regret it later. A friend told me about a seamstress at sewing face masks for free for her community with donated fabric and the men are angrily refusing to wear floral patterns during a pandemic. Honestly, what's more important to protect here? Your masculinity or your immune system? Can any of you worthless cucks actually give me decent advice or no? I need a job that pays over $17 with no or an easily fakeable drug test. Stop telling me to go to Amazon. I don't care they're paying 19 bucks. I refuse to suck Bezos' dick for any amount of money. Cry about it. Also, no Vestas or Elwood staffing either. Do you imbeciles realize that easily passable doesn't mean an effing piss test? And I'm not strapping a condom full of fake piss to my balls either. Me and Tyrone need those for your wife tonight, LMAO. Yeah, nothing makes me want to help out someone quite like, Give me a job, you loser, and then I'm gonna bang your wife. I was approached at the dollar store to help someone buy these three things for her kids. Yeah, that hair dye is necessary, so I say fine. Then at the register, she added in a soda, snack, and nail polish. Yeah, lady, no, I'm not getting your snacks and junk too. Then down in the comments, people post similar dollar store encounters. I drank liquids ads. My first time in the dollar store, this woman was in front of me in line, but she kept walking away to go look at stuff while we waited. I didn't really care until she saw she was next and she took her stuff and walked away. So me and the cashier assumed she wasn't ready. I moved up and proceeded to check out. Well, the woman came back and was so angry that I didn't save her spot. The cashier was like, you left your spot. So then as I was getting my change, the woman was like, oh, I see how it is. Can I at least have that change you're getting? And I was just like, lol, no. Then we have another story from Used Onion. I used to work at a Dollar Tree. We had one customer who everyone hated. She'd come in, fill a cart full over at least an hour, sometimes longer, while constantly coming up to the registers wanting us to personally help her shop for things. And when she finally came to check out, she'd put literally half of the stuff back. And by back, I mean laid it to the side for us to put back for her. Anyway, she walked to the store. So she spent her entire trip trying to rope people into giving her a ride home. A ride home with like a hundred dollars worth of one dollar junk. If they agreed at the beginning of her trip, then they had to wait around for her for an hour to finish up and she just tells them, Oh, I just need to grab a few more things. Absolutely zero shame. Half the time, she wouldn't have enough money and would ask people for help. It's never even necessities like food. It's always things like sucky Julian Michaels workout DVDs from like a decade ago or crossword puzzles. It was so infuriating. During Christmas, she'd hijack a register area just to use as a table to sort things. Like she'd come up with all her stuff, put it on the register, and scream like a banshee if you touched it because she wasn't ready to check out. She just wanted to know where she stood for gifts. And then she'd leave to go back shopping with like 20 things left that she decided she didn't want. That we had to clean up before we got an actual customer. I never got to the point of telling off a customer in my years of retail, but man, she's the closest I've gotten. I've snapped at her and she's called me mean before though. So for this next one, the Choosing Beggar posts this review. Don't order from blank jerky. Ripped me off 60 bucks and won't send jerky. Bad person in the community. Then the jerky company posts this conversation. Will I get a tracking number for my jerky package or is it just like a wait and see type of thing, lol? Hey there, the reason you haven't received a tracking number is the postal service has kicked your package back to us for an incorrect address. The address we have is blank. The postal service says we need a unit number. Unit number 205. When we get it back and reship, you'll get a tracking number. K, including a bonus? You didn't include your apartment number when you submitted your order. We will now have to pay for shipping a second time, meaning we'll be losing money on your entire order. Well, it didn't have an apartment number when I ordered, so that's why. I went over my order and it never asked, so get it right. 60 bucks worth of beef jerky. I literally ordered 60 bucks worth of beer tonight and they still found my place. Your order's been canceled and a full refund has been issued. It'll appear in your account in five to 10 business days. 
Whack, I'll probably never order from you again. I expect a full $65 refund, and I'm going to post this on the Jerky website group so no one orders from you again. So after the company posted the screenshot, the community absolutely blasted this choosing beggar, and he eventually deleted his post. And then the company posted an update where this choosing beggar apparently sent this email. Send me my jerky or effin' send me my dang refund. It's not that hard to be effin' honest. And if you block me, I'll go to the cops. I already have your email and Facebook. That was r slash choosing beggars. And if you like this video, then hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.